Hey, how's it going? It is August 15th, 2019, and I had my laser hair consult today. Why laser hair removal? Well, I'm getting my hair removed on my forearm so that way I can prepare for phalloplasty. So I was recommended by Dr. Garcia, who is going to be my surgeon at Cedar sinai to go and see this certain team. I met with their nurses. Overall, I was expecting to go in and have a pretty good consult, something pretty quick, and something that kind of just like went over the lay of how things were gonna go. Now, if you backed it up and you watched my video about my consult with Dr. Garcia, you know that we, we decided to go with the left arm because my right arm is my dominant arm. And I'm overall not hairy, so we were expecting really eight months of solid laser hair. We also learned that I wasn't gonna need to do any extreme electrolysis, that I could go with laser because I have dark hair and it follows the pigment, so that was going to be more efficient, less painful, less costly. The next thing was that I was going to get a letter from Dr. Garcia to try to push this along and get it covered by insurance, which it frequently does, and so it was going to be something that was gonna be minimally expensive. Fast forward, now we're back to today. So my copay was $40, which no one can help, that's insurance for you. And I went in, this place was massive. I only had to wait a few minutes. They initially told me I was gonna to have to wait 20 minutes. I didn't have to fill out any paperwork, just really kind of sign and signature one form, which was really awesome. It was electronic, super, super easy, stress-free. Get in there, waiting a few minutes, nurse comes in and brings me in and starts to ask me, you know, the typical questions you get asked. After that, I'm told that the doctor's in with the procedure and it's gonna be like 20 minutes. So I'm just sitting there hanging out my phone. Two minutes later, nurse comes in, super, super nice, explains the whole process to me and tells me a bunch of things which are slightly different from what Dr. Garcia had told me. So now I'm sort of in limbo right now. Let me explain. The first thing was left arm versus right arm. So again, very right-handed and when you do surgery like that even though there's going to be recovery and healing I am someone who's fortunate that a bunch of the work that I do and can do to bring in income I can do electronically so if I'm someone that ends up having complications or healing in terms of other things down here I at least by the time heal enough here should be able to really type this was the whole you know, concept to make things easier. And they just, the surgeons like to go with the less dominant arm. Now, I do have my New York tattoo here. Had a good laugh about how that was gonna be on the inside of my urethra, and we were just gonna move forward anyway. Basically, we were looking at five and a half inches from most of the New York all the way down to this Crooks area, and that was going to be, in theory, the length of my phallus. It was gonna be about five to five and a half inches and so there was going to be laser hair. I was told it was going to be I think two sessions a week for eight months. But today I was told that it was going to be, because of how little hair I have, it was going to be probably five months but because of the tattooing we were probably going to have to do the other arm. Now I tried not to read panic on my face Hopefully I didn't, but internally I was definitely feeling a little panicked because I don't want anything to hold me up from being able to create income. The major concern that I have over the process of phalloplasty really has mostly to do with my financial needs of survival. So that is sort of like, woo, 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 like all the alarms and the flags are flashing and going off. And basically what happens is that with laser, the pigmentation, it's looking, the laser is literally set up. It's gonna take two minutes per session and it's supposed to be very painless based on the location. They don't even use a numbing cream. I asked a zillion questions about it. They said that I could have one beforehand applied if I needed it but and that they have numbing cream but that they've never had to use it and they work a lot with Garcia's patients. But they said that based on laser, the way it's programmed, it's looking for the dark pigment based all around the pigment. 
So because my tattoo is an outline of literal black ink, like, not gonna work. So basically they were saying they would have to cover it and not be able to do laser there. Now the question is, does that bother Garcia? Does that shrink the size of my penis in the end? Does it mean that I really have to go with the right arm? I mean, obviously, if it comes to me having the length and the proper success and the lack of, uh, or the less possibility of complications to have the whole arm done, even though I'm very little hair, then I'm gonna go with my right arm. And so now we're, we're sort of waiting. I've messaged Dr. Garcia's office through CS Link, which is Cedar sinais electronic system, haven't been hearing back from them or from email and so I never got my letter on time that Garcia was going to write which it still can get done within this time they also are reaching out to Garcia so that way he can know about this tattoo issue and we can make a decision because I want to be able to go forward the next thing with coverage so I'm not going to be able to just go and start to get the sessions done until they're covered. I really need to make that effort, and apparently that can take a little while. I don't really know how long, but if we can get Garcia to answer this week and get the letter in, then hopefully it won't be very long and I will be getting my laser done quickly. The good news is that if it really is going to be just five months, then I was mentally allotting time for eight months. So in a way, it's good because I still kind of have that leeway mentally of when I want to and need to get all these things done. At the same time, it also means, okay, I'm three months rushed into figuring out my finances. So I have a feeling all this is going to just somehow work out. It has a way of doing that. I need this and I'm really excited to take the next steps. So we're just waiting for Dr. Garcia little confused as to how these answers kind of vary as much as they do, but I think it's just that Dr. Garcia hasn't really had the situation where the non-dominant hand, the one, the arm that's being used, has tattooing of this level, and yeah, so it's a, it's a new experience. Basically what would happen is if I were to do the laser hair removal over it, it would blister, so it wouldn't pick up the ink, it would just well, it would. It would take the ink out, but it would leave blistering, ruining my skin, and just ruining this whole process overall. And I asked about if I were to have the tattoo removed, they said it would still be an issue. They wouldn't be able to do it over it. So we're in the waiting game now. I'm a little frustrated because I kind of had this theory that I was going to start this rather quickly, but, you know, it, it can still be quick, and at least I'm making progress. So if anybody has any questions, let me know. I will start to put a group together. Things have been really, really busy, but I do intend to show really in-depth content, especially pictures, especially more graphic pictures on my Patreon. So if you are interested in learning more about my phalloplasty, I recommend that you become a patron. You can become a patron for as little as $1. It's at www.patreon.com slash tranibus. That's two N's in tranibus. And otherwise, I will have some groups on Facebook, but they're not going to be as intense. I'm probably going to switch things over soon with my Patreon so that way I'm actually raising funds for my phalloplasty. So if you do become a patron, you are helping me out. There's a couple of different tiers. I've been messing around with different ones. I'll probably add some new ones soon. If there's anything that you want to see on there, let me know. And otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.